We are on a winter storm alert tonight, and the governor has now declared a state of emergency as we prepare for the snow. Good evening, I'm Connor Ford. And I'm Mike Black. We all know a few inches of snow can make a real impact in our area, and people are preparing. Every public school system in northern Alabama is closed tomorrow. Redstone Arsenal is closed. Many government offices and businesses are closed as well. To get the latest list, go to our rock, uh, excuse me, rocketcitynow.com. And we begin our team coverage with Renata DiGregorio, who is focusing on the roads. Renata, departments in Huntsville have been gearing up for this, so what's the plan? Well, the plan is to send out the sand trucks at midnight. After that, departments will be in communication with each other. So if, let's say, there's a slick spot on this road right here, they can be in communication and get out to get it fixed and make it safe as quickly as possible. Over 140 tons of rock and salt, around 20 different types of trucks to get it where it needs to be. This is what prepping for snow looks like in Huntsville, and it's the first time this season it'll be used. Once we go through an event like this, we immediately restock to be ready for the next one. When the clock strikes midnight, the public works director says the trucks will head out to treat roads like around the hospital and Monte Sano, Mount Sharon and the Winchester area in the north and Green Mountain Road and Mathis Mountain in the south. He says they're focusing on high trafficked and elevated areas and they'll go down residential roads if there's enough material. We'll be assisting them in responding to those areas of concern. This is the fine rock mixture they put on roads. It's called 810 modified mix. McNeese says they use it instead of salt because salt breaks down concrete. Huntsville police say the areas of concern may be barricaded. They've already set up materials for barricades along the parkway by elevated overpasses to be ready. What we usually find is as the temperatures drop, there's that one hour where roads deteriorate really quickly and it's usually that one or two drivers that go over an overpass where the barricade is not up yet and they find that they find themselves in a situation they've hit a slick spot. He says if you hit a slick spot to let HPD know where it is. Lieutenant Johnson says to avoid going out on the roads if you can help it, but if you find yourself in the middle of the roads while they're deteriorating, try to stay off overpasses, drive slowly, and just be very careful. Live in Huntsville, putting the Valley first, Renata DiGregorio, WZDX News.